Okay, so here we are at Pai Tai Station. Uh, we've got off the airport link and now I'm looking for somewhere to stay around here. Um, I may be looking for a coffee shop as well because I might be a bit, oh, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired. So I want to find somewhere pretty damn quick. So I, I might just give myself a little bit of time to chill out. So what's available around here? You'll be glad to know a lot. Okay, you've got quite a nice choice. If you head towards exit one or two, um, and then walk into town, going that way, then you're probably doing yourself a favour because there's a lot of hostels down there. Um, there's one actually right next to me here, which I'll show you in a minute. So you've got a good choice. Um, you're not going to have to spend a fortune, and you're not going to have to sit in a taxi or on a bus or get on more trains. And actually, the location here is great because it's not far to the city centre. It's only maybe two stops. Yeah, two stops on MRT and about a 20 minute walk, half an hour walk, if you wanted to walk, okay? So, not far, so let's go and see what we can find. So that's where we're going. We're heading for exit one and exit two, which is a, a good place to go if you're looking for the town centre, you're looking for some hostels and so on, okay? So yeah, if you're looking to find your way around, probably exit one and two is not a bad place. Good starting point. And if it doesn't matter where you go, either side of the road, exit one, exit two, it doesn't really matter because you'd be able to look and see across the road anyway so if there's any hostels on this side or that side you'll be able to see them okay now we're going to go to exit number two because i know where i want to go <laughs> okay so i know there's a, a few hostels there's actually one immediately next to the station if i could jump out of here without killing myself i'd be in the hostel okay so it's that close so this is where we're going to go to we're going to have to come down here and we're going to go down these steps here so it's not far and as i walk here quick run down the street so if you're looking for somewhere you're looking for a hotel you're looking for a hostel you've actually got a really good choice around here okay um, first things first if you need to sit down and chill out and find out where you are there's a little coffee shop here uh, and it's really not expensive so you've got a choice there about 35 baht for a coffee so you've got a coffee shop there and if you look around here you'll see this place and this is about the nearest host hostel to the uh, sky train you'll see here we've got a dorm room for about 400 bar which is a reasonable price obviously it all depends on what the rooms are like but you know looking at it from outside it looks very clean uh, they've got air conditioning units all the way up it's all well painted seats outside with glass sliding doors so you know it's it's looking pretty decent so that's your first one i'm just going to walk you down here just to give you an overview of where exactly you are because there's there's a lot going on around here it's it's a good good place to be it's a good good place to stay there's it's just very very nice okay it's just a, a it's a good place in this place here as well 
There's another little coffee shop that you can try out. So you can sit inside, you can have a coffee. So you come down the steps there, you come down here, you can sit out inside, you can have a coffee and relax, okay? And plan your next step. So you see up here, this gives you the, uh, this is where we were a minute ago. Up there, that top bit, right up there, that's the airport link up there. And this bit up here, that's the sky train, okay? So we're now on the street level. Um, okay, it's noisy, it's a main street, but you're in Bangkok and you're in a city. So what do you want? Do you want somewhere close to MRT and BTS? Or do you want to try and so find somewhere that's a little bit quieter, a little bit more chill chill? Or do you just want location? These are the things that only you can answer. I can give you the hotels, you can decide. I can show you the hostels, you can decide, okay? So we're not going to go over that way yet. We're going to leave that for later. We're going to go from this side here, this way. And we're going to head towards the city centre, okay? So this is the way we're going. So we're going to get some info and some details about the first hostel that I've just shown you, okay? So, coffee shop number one. Looks like we've got a nice fitness place here too. Coffee shop number two just up here. Get your hair cut right here as well. And then, here we are. I'm just looking at hostels on the main drag here today, okay? So, this is the sleep lab again, so we're just going to come in here and get some details of here, okay? I'll just follow you through, okay? Okay, okay, come on, I'll follow you up and we can have a look. So here we are going up the stairs here to check out the hostel inside, okay? <laughs> For everyone, if you want to eat something to eat, yeah, okay. Hello, Hello. Hello. it's a little chill out station, yeah. <laughs> okay, actually, this boy is just a lady only. All right, okay, yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, I think it's a safe for the lady, yeah, okay. okay. Uh, after you, I mean, like, he has a big chance. So this is the hotel here and you can see the showers and toilets down here. All very nice, all very clean, really well laid out. You got nice sinks, hair dryers too. They're very good. What's your name by the way? Ah, uh, Toto. Toto, okay. He's shown us around today, okay. So and this we is... have the uh, Wi-Fi order room. Okay. And this is one of the hostels in here, which I think look yeah, really, is. really nice. Yeah. Okay. The room is like this. And it's very cool in here. <laughs> and you get a really nice bed. A really good size. Very, very clean. Good mattress and good pillows. <laughs> and everything is super yeah, clean. And a big locker. Yeah. Is that a TV screen in there? Yes. Well? Wow. <laughs> and so all this is for... 400 baht, yes. 394 yes. baht, right, yeah. that's fantastic, <laughs> really good. So you see outside here, yeah. here's the uh, ablutions, okay, <laughs> you got the showers and toilets down yeah. here, all very nicely uh, well presented. The last one is, uh, we have uh, for the cobble. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. Oh, so we have to be careful going up here then. <laughs> yeah, this is, this have, is the have romantic have side. <laughs> <laughs> we have this, uh, Four, four, four. Yeah, right, it okay. Make, uh, you see everything's good, good security. You got lockers everywhere. Oh look at these here. <laughs> and you got a really nice big double bed. How much are these for a double one? This one is at uh, 650 baht. Okay. It's a promotion price. That's really good, that's an excellent price. <laughs> so again you've got one, two, three nice big mm -hmm. double beds yeah. very comfortable very very clean um very nice mm -hmm. okay right so it's good everything here should be here fire extinguisher you've got the showers over here it's all very clean as you see it 
it's great. Real okay. nice decor, everything. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to sit here on the noisy street, uh, but I don't care. The hotel here that I've just checked out is fantastic. And it's one of the nicest hostels I've ever been in. And I'm not kidding you, okay? It's one thing I will not do is kid you. This is my business, this is my life. If it's horrible, I'll tell you. If it's amazing, I'll tell you. And if it's so-so, I'll tell you. But now this place, I recommend it 100%. It is wonderful. The location is fantastic. They're looking at 400 bar for a door. It's so clean and it's so modern and so nicely styled. It really is a good place. And the staff are wonderful. I've just been chatting to their manager. Very, very nice guy. So, yeah. No need to look any further if you're coming here. Just come straight here. It's so easy to find. It's just down the stairs there. Come back on yourself by about 20 meters and you'll find this place, okay? You'll find it called the Sleep Lab. And it is a very, very good place. So let's go and venture off and see what else we can find. Well, one thing that you will find when you start coming here, you'll start looking at different places and you'll maybe be a little bit thirsty a little bit puckish so these are the sort of things that you can grab as you're looking for your hotel or for your coffee shop even if you want to just grab a quick something to eat or drink i always recommend the coconut you know coconuts are great they are so thirst quenching but they also give you a nice bit of energy as well so you've got a great little variety of snacks fruit drinks whatever you want on the street so you've got time to chill out you've got time to consider everything okay so these are things down here now we've come out here we're walking away from the MRT sorry BTS station at higher tide we're walking down here now as you walk down here you'll see the build up of traffic now and this is why I don't really suggest that you jump in a taxi and just try and sit in it and go over to Kaosan Road for instance, okay? You're, you're getting really stuck. So, if you come this way, it's pretty easy. You can just walk down here, you pick yourself out a couple of um, hostels down here. And if you're really tired, you can always stop and have some food and there's you know in thailand it's full of cafes and restaurants and street food like these little places yeah everywhere so keep your eyes peeled and make sure you look closely on the left because sometimes the signs for the hostels are not amazing and you blink and you miss them okay and other times they stick out really vivid okay so just be careful you'll see we're heading to another hostel just along here so we've got plenty of places got little coffee shops at the side of the soils you've got little noodle shops you've got many many places here and you'll see again We've got this place here. We've got a nice little hostel here. And again, the price is starting from around about 400 baht. Okay? So we're looking at here and we'll nip in and we'll see exactly how much. I'm looking at distance. We're about maybe 500 meters away from the steps when I came down from the um, sky train a uh, little landmark is a footbridge there it's just before the footbridge on the left hand side so let's get some details in here so here we go i can't get it all 
of in on my little bit up here and it's Viman Hostel. It's actually again another very very nice hostel, really friendly staff. Uh, location is fantastic. You couldn't ask for a better place again. It's just on the main walkway through and rooms, layout, staff, everything. Yeah, good. Very nice, very friendly. You've got a nice uh, bit of competition going on around here too. There's a lot of hostels and hotels. I am going to call them hip hostels over here. Um, there's also a lot of food places as well. So, all in all, good start. Now, again, I'm going to keep on walking and where I'm going to walk to, I'm just going to stand in the shade up here. I'm using that big building there and that big building there is my uh, landmark if you like we're going to walk up here to a set of crossroads and i'm just following the bts line up there okay so i'm just going to follow that and it's not far but it will get me to where i want to go to okay another nice place and another essential place when you're doing anything is to get a nice coffee shop somewhere where you can sit down and relax have a nice little coffee and have a, a few relaxing moments to gather yourself and decide what you're going to do next so believe it or not we are in the heart of Bangkok so it's a very hot day today even though it's supposed to be the the winter time or the cool season very bright sunshine very hot so we're going to head about another kilometer down that way and then we'll get some more stuff to sample 